Recently, I shared this little scene made in Unity, showing a stylized painterly shading effect, and I thought it would be a good idea to make a small video breaking the effect down. Welcome to Technically Harry. Since this is just a breakdown, I won't go into too much detail regarding shaders or how lighting models work. That being said, I will assume that you're familiar with what surface shaders are, how lighting models work in the built-in render pipeline, and basic shader functions like step and smooth step. If you're not familiar with those, looking up more info about those individual elements will certainly clear some things up. I will also include some links in the description for you. So let's get started. First, I had to make an interesting texture that could give me this sort of painterly feel. I used Substance Designer as my tool of choice, but you could make one in Photoshop, Material Maker or any other program. I made mine based on this lovely video. I will include the link in the description. There's just too many things to look out for when making a texture like this. First, the texture should be tileable. That's a no-brainer since this texture could be overlaid on top of different surfaces, so we want it to repeat itself. Secondly, the texture should provide values across the whole range from 0 to 1. This is to make sure that our shading values will be mapped smoothly. A way I like to check that out in Substance Designer is by using the histogram scan node. If the values go from 0 to 1 smoothly, then we're good to go. I map the Pentelli noise on the object using its UVs and I pass that over to the lighting model. Then I calculate the diffuse reflectance with the classic n.l, which gives me a neat little gradient to play with. I threshold the n.l gradient with a smooth step function which uses the painterly noise texture values along with a smoothness value to essentially dissolve the brush strokes of the texture based on the diffuse value. It's essentially the same as what I did before with the histogram scan, but instead of scrubbing the slider, I use a gradient value. I then calculate the specular reflection and pretty much do the same as before. This was a quick test, so I didn't bother with proper specular and metallic values, I just multiply the specular highlights with the bespoke specular color value and the light's color. For some extra color on top of the brush strokes, I also sampled this colorful gradient using the result of the first smooth step and I multiplied the resulting color with the albedo. In the end, the whole lighting model looks like this. And this is it pretty much. While the texture and shader do the heavy lifting, the multiple lights also help accentuate the effect. Now, since this is a custom shading model in a surface shader, this can be rendered in deferred, so multiple lights are probably not a great idea. Also, for my scene, I threw in some edge detection for extra stylization along with some extra post processing. And that's it! Thank you for watching, and I really hope this helps. Bye bye!